Hello everybody, today we're going to beat Muck, but we aren't going to try and beat it quickly while the enemies are still weak. We are going to wait until the enemies are ludicrously strong before we beat it. After they have gotten to a ridiculous power level, because we aren't beta males, we aren't even alpha males. We are sigma males. Let's get started. For anyone who has not heard of Muck, it is a game that a YouTuber actually made out of a challenge. It's a free game on Steam, anyone can play it. It's a very, I'd say, difficult arcade-esque game. Things get very difficult very quickly. It is not for the faint of heart. Be ready to be boxing a hundred different enemies by the end of the game. And I mean boxing because you gotta bob and weave these guys like nothing else. It's a very fast paced game. Um, if you do not get ahead of the game, the game will absolutely mow you down. All right, we have already ran into some zombies. These guys can throw these bones as well as smack you with them. They hit pretty hard, especially for low levels. So I gotta be careful here. I took a lot more damage than I would have hoped I would. All right, and we already get to pick up the LNR. This is not gonna be the first time. <laughs> These are gonna be the Raptors. These things are very, very fast. So you gotta keep on your toes. They can't throw anything this early in the game. Later in the game, you'll see what they can do, but they're just very fast. They hit hard and they're gonna make you sprint around the map to try and stay away from them. They also come in packs, so that makes it even more difficult. All right, and we're already running into a village here. This is kind of the crucial part of the game. You run into these villages and you have to find specific tools in order to kind of get yourself further into the game. So I got lucky, we found someone with an adamantite ax, which is like the second best ax in the game that you can buy for gold, which you get from the enemies. We also found the guy who has an adamantite uh, pickaxe, which is second best pickaxe in the game. That way we don't have to mine for every single mineral one at a time to get better and better stuff. This little rectangular statue is kind of a battle starter, so every once in a while bosses will pop out of those as well as enemies. It is a way to get gold faster and kind of force combat whenever it's daytime and stuff isn't spawning. So at this point of the game, you kind of got to get a lot of food, make sure you're getting plenty of gold, not wasting it on stupid stuff, not dying, being very careful, as well as doing as many of these battles as possible because if you do not, the game will steamroll you later in the game. All right, that's another one down, let's go. So right here, I got all I needed from this village and I did not realize that Thalinar had not gotten it, the, what he needed from this village. So I decided I was gonna kill everybody uh, so that I could get their gold and everything they were holding to kind of further the game. Um, and I made a huge mistake here because it kind of put him in a really bad spot, <laughs> which kind of made me have to carry him the rest of the game. So at this point, I'm one shot in most of these cows. <laughs> this is where you're gonna get your Obamium. Obamium is gonna be the best armor you can get. And this is why you buy the pickaxe so that you can make this armor and smelt it down. Uh, it's gonna be the best thing to protect your character. i right, do another one of these towers, let's go. Another one over here, let's go. All right, that was quick. All right, these big rock guys, oh. And right here, he accidentally hit the main village that we were in. This is actually the thing that really sucked because whenever I hit a villager, it was the village we didn't really need. So it didn't do too much. That was the village that we were going to need the entire game. So it put us in a really bad spot. All right, so we're going to smelt this. Okay, and there's already a boss. These bosses is what makes the game difficult. There's Dalinar. He's already dead again. <laughs> um, this is what makes this game really difficult. I put myself in a great spot where I didn't really get hit here, but these things can one-shot you if you're not careful, and they have rangy attacks, and that wasn't even nearly the hardest boss. You're gonna see here later in the game that things get absolutely ludicrous. At this point of the game, I'm already sprinting around the map at like full speed, grabbing chests. Here I'm smelting a bunch of stuff. Right here is the raptors I was talking about where they're gonna be shooting at you. At this point of the game, stuff is getting harder and harder. Uh, the only thing that kind of keeps that at bay is that you are also needing to get stronger and stronger by getting these chests and getting better gear. All right, and I'm already one tapping trees, just running up to them and smacking the shit out of them. Um, so this, I'm just doing this so we can get some material so we can smith some stuff. And as you saw very briefly, I have all Obamium armor at this point. Uh, I also kind of farmed it for Thalinar that way he would have something to work with. And this is where I got extremely unlucky and I thought we were gonna have to just cancel the run. I ran into a, a tower and this is a very rare thing to happen. I got three buff gronks, um, which is a boss and it's 
they all have 3,000 health instead of 1,000. So this was a very rough pull, and I did not know if I was quite ready for this. So my strategy was to kind of run away and get some space. They also killed Dalinar, if you didn't notice, so he's dead again. My strategy was to fight him one at a time, kind of get him away from the others, which was working a little bit. The only problem was I couldn't see their health due to it only shows one of their health at the time. So I'm just running away, trying to box him. Eating, running away, trying to box them, eat, trying to just bob and weave as much as I can, getting absolutely sliced, and then he just launches me across the map. But this was probably the sketchiest fight in the entire game. So I'm just bobbing and weaving, cutting in, jumping, slicing them up, getting thrown across the map. And then it also went into nighttime, so I'm also fighting them, trying to fight off these raptors and these zombies, fighting off these rock monsters that throw boulders at me, dodging AoE attacks, dodging flying swords. But I actually beat them all three by myself. And by myself is going to become a recur reoccurring thing because uh, Thalinar at this point was basically useless. All right, so I run up to this chief. One of these guys is easy work at this point. I got absolutely destroyed by three of the uh, the Gronks. So he died very easily. All right, so this is one of the end game materials, Dark Oak. You need that in order to leave the island as well as make better gear. Because like I said, the gear I'm using currently is the second best, whereas the next one is the best. And at this point, I don't have quite that many jumps. Uh, like I said, this game does get crazy with the add-ons that you get, all the power-ups. But right now, I only have one jump, whereas later in the game, you'll see that <laughs> it gets a little crazy. So these dragons are a little hard to fight because I don't have a bow and arrow. Right. So I am kind of just big manning through these guys at this point. Uh, they are getting stronger with me, but I'm getting stronger just faster than they're able to. <laughs> and right here, you can see that Thalinar got one shot again. <laughs> um, and then I have to kind of take care of the problem after he's dead. That is a core that we need for the end of the game right there. This is the basically the Mega Raptors. They also shoot you just like the electrical ones, but the blue ones are monsters. Uh, and here's me making Thalinar even more gear because <laughs> he just keeps dying. So I made him like the best gear in the game so that he would hopefully not die, which uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. All right, and here's him dying again and throwing his stuff all over the village. At this point, I have three jumps, so I'm kind of like boxing these dragons in the middle of the air as well as boxing all the other things. Uh, three jumps is pretty fun, but it gets more crazy. All right, I'm just one shotting all this stuff because we got to pick it up and head towards the ship. All right, ran into three of the Mega Raptors, so that's a little dangerous, but at this point of the game, I'm kind of just mopping everything. All right, and there's the ship. Uh, I'll go over to it in here in just a minute, but we need that stuff as well. Oh, and we run into another Gronk. Uh, at this point, I'm just <laughs> dicing him up. Dang, that was fast. Okay. And there's another one. <laughs> at this point, I'm hitting him so fast that the game isn't registering all the damage that I'm doing. And Thalinar's dead for another 230 seconds. So this is one of the end game bosses, not the end game, but he hits very hard. So I actually had to be a little careful. Um... He only hit me once, so luckily I didn't die. All right, and this is all the stuff we need to build a boat. Uh, I'm currently kind of placing everything where it goes that I already have. Actually able to get some of the stuff out of my inventory. And right here we realize that all of Thalinar's stuff despawned. So at this point he is absolutely scre screwed and naked. So all I was able to give him was my green sword that I used to have. That's all he has. So at this point, he had died like five or six times. Um, maybe more. I can't remember. But at this point, it went from five or six to like 14. So I was just basically having to play the game alone. Uh, it is day 12. And I'm just boxing these guys up. I have an absolutely full inventory. Destroying these dark oak trees that used to take me like 20 minutes to cut down. Cut them down like five seconds. It's the first big chunk. He has 6,200 health, and I absolutely just demolished him. He's gone. He did hit me very hard, though, so I could have died there. That was a little, little dangerous. I run into another Gronk. Kill him fast. All right, at this point, I have four jumps, so I'm kind of flying with these dragons. Dicing up these... God, there's so many guys. I'm just so strong at this point that I'm kind of just standing in there with them. Poor Thalinar. He just keeps dying. He just died again. <laughs> All right, there's another buff big chunk. Um, these guys are very dangerous, and you're going to see why here very soon. I'm kind of killing them very... Oh, and there's another one. See, there it is. 
uh, they start spawning like religiously over and over again. So you just have to fight like two or three of them, sometimes four at the exact same time. And I'm just dodging these rocks, going in for the kill, killing everything in my path. Another buff Gronk. At this point, they have 7,000 health, but he didn't even... <laughs> I was hitting him so fast, he couldn't move. Same thing with the Chief. 7,000 health. They're over seven times as strong as they were at the beginning of the game, but just isn't enough. And here's where it starts to get crazy, and if you get hit, you basically die. There's three of them at the exact same time that I have to fight, and they all have 8,800 health. So I'm having to fly in the air, go in, attack them, and then fly away. And there we go. That is all three big chunks dead. Uh, and it is nighttime, don't forget. So we're getting attacked by a bunch of other units that uh, also hit pretty hard. The <laughs> Thaloner's over there running away from the raptors. <laughs> he actually does pretty good bobbing and weaving at this point. Uh, but he just can't keep up. He's just trying to stay alive, trying not to be a burden by making me have to come all the way back and revive him every time he dies. And here's a, another buff guardian. These guys are pretty crazy. They have these giant laser beams that basically one-shot you, so you have to be very careful. All right, here's another buff guardian. These are one of the ones that you have to kill in order to leave this island, which is the objective of the game. All right, he was about to get that laser off, but I got him, and I got another jump. At this point, I have eight jumps. Fighting another three big chunks. They have 9,600 health each. Just flying up in the air, boxing them, flying up in the air, boxing them. All right, and then he flies into the stratosphere. All right, another buff guardian. This is another boss that you have to kill. He got part of his laser off. I killed him before it did too much damage though, so that's good. More and more big chunks. At this point, they're just regular minions just flying through them. Thalinar dies again. He's getting angry in the background. <laughs> this guy hit me really hard. I had so much life steal that it basically just hit me for a quarter of my health, whereas if I wasn't just absolutely batting him in the mouth, I might have actually died. All right, at this point, I'm flying around the map. I have 10 jumps, so and each jump is bigger than the original jump because it's amplified by items. So I'm just flying across the map with my jumps. All right, there's another rough guardian. Bye-bye. All right, he's dead. Very quick, another guardian. Uh, just regular guardian this time. Yeah, these guys are dangerous, but at this point, if I just keep attacking them while they're hitting me, it's not a big deal. And there's Gronk. Just took him, killed him. <laughs> And then there's the chief that pops up right after. Dalinar's dead again, by the way. <laughs> uh, I'm just reviving him just to be nice at this point. He's not really helping, but I appreciate the effort. And I'm just getting mobbed by bosses one after another. And there's a big chunk in the background if you don't see it. There's another Gronk. All right, killing one of the last guardians that I have to get before we leave. Yeah, there's the <laughs> there's the big chunk that I was talking about. Flying across the map again. <laughs> just... <laughs> Jumping across lakes. Oh, I love this game so much. It's so fun. I suggest this game to anybody who's wanting to play something kind of arcadey, but also has a really good feel to it. And it's absolutely free, so it's not like it's going to cost you anything. Just try it out. At this point, I have 13 jumps, and I'm just flying around. The only reason I stopped there is because I had to get that iron. But I'm actually just flying across the map. Picking up Thalinar again, poor guy. Yeah, and once again, I'm hitting so fast and so hard that it is not counting all the damage that I'm doing. All right, big chunk and a chief in the middle of the night with a bunch of units. And there's another big chunk. And there's a third big chunk. Thalinar is dead again, if you didn't notice. All right, we're back at the boat. All we have to do is kind of fix it up, and we are good to beat the game. At this point, the water fills up the map. Everything you've made on the map gets destroyed. And... Uh, I gotta kind of feed Dalinar some stuff so he doesn't die immediately. Um, and you, this is the part of the game where you have to fight the massive dragon. His name is, of course, Bob. And I'm hitting him for like 2,000 damage a hit. All right, he has 2,800. Now he's down to nine, or sorry, 28,000. He's at 28,000. Now he's already down to 14,000. Um, this guy, oh yeah, Thalinar died again, if you didn't notice. <laughs> Uh, but he's just shooting fireballs. I'm standing right where I am, just tanking him. Poor old Bob. And this is where Bob loses his life. Game over for Bob. And game over for us, but in the best way. Victory for us. 13 deaths for Thalinar. Zero for me. This was a blast, but we beat the game. Whether I carried him on my back or as a team. I carried him on my back, but that's okay. 
Once again, this is Muck. It is a really fun arcade-esque game where you kind of buy abilities. Game gets harder as you go. The only thing that kind of sucks is you can't save the game, so you can't start it and then stop and then start it again. Uh, if you try and pause it, the game will keep playing in the background, so you have to actually exit out of it uh, and kind of minimize it if you're wanting to kind of pause it. Uh, which you really can't do, so you got to be careful. But it's a free game. It's called Muck, M-U-C-K. Try it out if you liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please let me know what you think about this game down in the comments. If you have any suggestions for games that you'd like to see played. I really do love hearing from y'all, so I'd love to hear what y'all have to say. and love to hear what you guys think about what we're doing, what you'd like to see in the future. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.